25 male goats have been relocated to Dublin as part of efforts to tackle wildfires. Hoth in North Dublin regularly suffers from gorse fires and it's hoped the goats grazing will keep the gorse under control and work as a fire prevention measure. This dramatic footage from July shows the impact of a major gorse fire in Hoth, the flames burning everything in its path, edging ever closer to homes. Crews from Dublin Fire Brigade, along with the Irish Air Corps, battled for several weeks to bring the blaze under control. Well, literally, you were talking about fires raging for up to three weeks and within 10, 20 metres of people's homes. Well, today, the latest defence against wildfires was unveiled with the arrival in Dublin of 25 goats, all the way from Mulrani and Mayo. Herder Melissa Yukin beat off stiff competition to bag the top job of managing the new arrivals. I have done this um, type of a job in my own time for many years and grown up with it. So it's wonderful to be back with the goats as part of this conservation programme. The goats have one job, to eat as much gorse as possible to help prevent future wildfires getting out of control. If you look at the hill behind you and it's, it's shredded, black, and instead of the helicopters and the fire engines and all the people at risk, the firefighters and the houses and all the rest of it, we'd be bringing in goats to do that. We think, what's, what's not to like about all of this? A GPS tracking system will allow the new kids on the block to be moved easily to various sites. The relocation of these goats to Hoth Head has been described as groundbreaking and sees the return of Ireland's native breed of goat to the capital for the first time in half a century. There was great excitement in Hoth today as the newest residents settled in. I got to pet them and uh, feel uh, his horns and uh, he ate a lot of food. While those in Mayo are hoping that today's transfer will bring some good luck. We're courting Sam next Saturday so uh, it's our fitting dowry to bring it up here and hopefully it's an omen that Sam might come back to Mayo. If successful, this project could be rolled out to other parts of the country. Paul Quinn, Virgin Media News in Hoth.